My interview with Rodney Wilkes was on the condition that no past photographs nor medals will be shown. 71-year-old Wilkes is still bitter at journalists not returning memorabilia of his treasured past. He also checked in his library to make sure that I was who I said I was, a former Olympian. That out of the way, he spoke of his first international victory at the 1946 CAC Games in Colombia, then on to the 1948 London Olympics. So, so I went to London with a broken thumb. Even the official in Trinidad never knew that my thumb was in such a state because I lived in senior championship with a broken thumb and win. And I went to London with a broken thumb and also run second in the Olympics and fourth in the British Empire Championship. Today, his yard in San Fernando still contains makeshift equipment he used for training at home. This 500-pound wage set was custom-built for Mr. Wilkes over 40 years ago. Today, it stands in the front of his yard as a monument for his Olympic achievements. Training out of his home, he managed to make two other Olympics, 1952 Helsinki and 1956 Australia, gaining a bronze and finishing fourth, respectively. With all this, he has never asked for handouts from government. His home, for instance, was finished with a $50,000 loan he is still paying to the NHA. I find that any and all government of Trinidad and Tobago had treated me with scant courtesy, no recognition at all. The only recognition they give you is old talk, which is no contribution to your living. I, I believe they may contribute in my debt because they are not contributing in my life. Rodney Wilkes feels that his existence was justified 48 years ago with his first Olympic medal. Andrew Bruce, CCN News.